tract infections are a common health condition in dogs and typically not something that you should be too concerned about. It's really easy to treat them at home. I do have some home remedies that you can check out. Um, a change in diet also can help to flush out the digestive tract and get things working properly again. Um, just be sure, you know, if it seems to be getting worse, if it's not clearing up within 24 hours, um, if there's any blood in the urine, serious swelling or redness around the genital areas, um, or of course, you know, if there's other symptoms along with the UTI, if your dog is lethargic, running a fever, um, heavy panting, pacing, being unable to settle, those kinds of things. If there's any other odd behavior along with the UTI, you wanna bring your dog into your veterinarian immediately. It could be that the infection is worse than you think. It could be another uh, underlying health condition that's causing the problem. So, you know, be uh, observant of your pet. And if you think it's just a uh, run of the mill, pretty mild urinary tract infection, it's really easy to treat through some home remedies or some dietary changes. There are a few steps to making this dog food recipe for urinary tract infections. Um, hydration is really key when it comes to UTIs because you want everything to be, you know, getting flushed out of the system. So hydration is a really big deal. Um, obviously you want your dog properly hydrated at all times, but you want to make sure he has access to plenty of liquids when he has a UTI. So this is uh, a very moist dog food. Um, I'm adding one cup of water to a medium saucepan and I have that over medium heat on my stove top. I'm gonna add one pound of ground turkey. And then I have one large sweet potato that I've chopped into pieces appropriately sized for my dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. We're gonna bring it um, up to a boil so the water's boiling. And I'm gonna be stirring it frequently just to break up the um, ground turkey and make sure that that's all getting cooked through all the way. We're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes on medium heat. Um, that'll give the potatoes some time to soften up and also um, the ground turkey time to cook through all the way. The turkey's cooked all the way through. You can see that the sweet potatoes have absorbed most of the water. Um, they're nice and soft now. They're mushing in with the turkey. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. I do still have this um, on low heat. I have one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of dried rosemary. I have three eggs that I'm just gonna crack in. And I'm gonna stir that around just so the eggs can start cooking and we can get those evenly distributed through the recipe. Now you see why I left it on low heat. I have one cup of frozen peas, a quarter of a cup of cranberries, and these are unsweetened dried cranberries. Make sure you get the unsweetened kind. Um, you don't want that added sugar that your dog doesn't need. I have an eighth of a cup of parsley here, and then I also have three sage leaves that I have chopped. And I have three cups of cooked brown rice. Go ahead and mix everything together. Um, still letting it cook. You wanna make sure the eggs are cooking, the um, frozen peas, everything's you know getting warm thoroughly through. So you really only have to cook it over the low heat, stirring it for about five minutes. That will ensure that everything is properly warmed and the eggs are cooked. Once the recipe has cooled, you can serve it to your dog. If you're looking for the serving size guidelines or the nutrition information, just click the link below the recipe. It'll take you to my written guide. All of that information's there. Uh, there's also information on all of the ingredients and why I chose to add them to this dog food recipe for urinary tract infections. A lot of people know that cranberries are good for UTIs, um, but the other ingredients in this recipe, such as um, the rosemary, the coconut oil, the sage, those are all uh, ingredients that have a positive effect on your dog's digestive and urinary tracts as well. So um, you can click the link below, as I said, get more information about the ingredients um, as well as serving size and nutrition information.